question three. Question three is the how question in this example. Um, so we're now we're looking at the, the other article. How does the report try to persuade you to visit Bike Park Wales? It's 10 marks. You should write about what is said, words and phrases, any other ways the writer tries to persuade you. Okay, so remember all the other how questions, they are things like, how does the writer make it tense and frightening? How does the writer make it sound wonderful? How does the make, writer make it sound awful? This one is, how is it persuading you? So how is it trying to get you to go to this park? Remember, because it's a how question, we're doing point evidence to explain. So make a point, give me a quote to back up that point, and then tell me in your explanation what do the words in the quote suggest. So for this article, I'd like you to zoom in on key words and pictures which persuade you to visit Bike Park Wales. So here's the article. Read it. If you've got a copy of the exam there, it's the June 2016 Foundation reading paper, highlight it of everything that you think makes it persuasive. If you haven't got the paper, just read it and see if you can pick a few things out. Okay, so what I've picked out is that they say Bike Park Wales is hooning heaven. Well, that shows that it's enjoyable if they're comparing it to heaven. It there says the centre boasts miles of beautiful countryside, so it's obviously a lovely place to ride. It says there's challenging downhill tracks, which make it interesting for more experienced riders. Then it actually says, try it out. So it uses an imperative. It's almost ordering us. It's encouraging us to have a go. It says the park is the most ambitious centre of them all. Five years in the making. The park, the park has 23 trails, graded like ski runs from green, mild enough to roll along with small children, or for more experienced rides. So it's basically it's challenging for whatever age. Um, so basically it's challenging for whatever age. And the fact it's most ambitious just shows you that it must be like on a grand scale. It's really something we should go to. Okay. Then it says uh, the most difficult routes involve steep descents and aerial leaps. These challenges are exhilarating. So it makes it sound like it's a wonderful, really exciting place to go. Then it tells us, uh, it says it's £30 a day or £5 a day. So it's telling us its value for money. It tells us the service is in great demand, which means it's popular. Then it then says, um, I barely cover, managed to cover half the park's available downhill runs. Well, that shows how big the course is. If you spent nearly the whole day and you could only get around halfway through, that shows how big the place is. Um, it's developed by passionate mountain bikers, so obviously even experts have designed this course, so it's going to be really good. It said it put a smile on everyone's face, so it tells us everyone has fun. It uses the phrase, we zoom dramatically downwards. It almost makes it sound really exciting. It says 35,000 riders from all over the UK are expected this year. So that just tells us it must be brilliant because so many people are going. And also even people are coming from overseas, from Europe, to ride it. it tells us it has a huge bike shop, a hire and repair shop, and a splendid cafe. So it tells us there's plenty of facilities there. And then lastly, it says, I guarantee it an experience you'll never forget. So if you're never going to forget it, it must be an amazing thing that you're never going to um, forget going to. And here's all the things you could have talked about. This is the mark scheme. Feel free to pause. Okay, so now how are we going to put it in a point evidence explain? Remember, in a point evidence explain question, the how question, you probably only need to do five or six because you get a mark for the point and you get a mark for your evidence and your explanation. However, if you do have time to write ten, do as many as you can, but make sure you stick to your time. So my point is, how does the report try to persuade you to visit by part? Well, my point is... The report persuades people to visit by mentioning the facilities, such as, my evidence, a huge bike shop, a hire and repair shop, and a splendid cafe. So now I'm going to explain why that evidence proves that it persuades you to go. Well, this tells a reader that the park has lots of facilities on offer and will perhaps appeal to people who are visiting the bike but not riding themselves. So people who are not going to ride, maybe friends or family who are just going to watch, they're just not going to be outside in the rain and the wind watching. They've actually got somewhere where they can go, something that interests them. Another point I'm going to make, the report persuades people to visit by telling everyone to try it out. So again, it's like I said a minute ago, it's almost like an order that try it out, it must be something really good. So how does try it out persuade us to go? Well, this is persuasive as it is almost an order that encourages the, the people to have a go. Sorry, that's a typo. Another point, the report persuades people to visit by describing it as hooning heaven. So I'm going to zoom in on the word heaven and say why the word hooning, hooning heaven, the phrase hooning heaven makes us want to go. Well, but by comparing it to heaven, it makes the place sound like a paradise for mountain bikers and a place they must visit. So heaven is somewhere we all want to go or all aspire to, or even the word means like a paradise. So this is almost like a paradise for mountain bikers. 
Okay, the report persuades people to visit by saying they offer a service that is in great demand. So in my explanation, I'm going to say, well, why that phrase in great demand? Why that persuades us to go? Well, this implies to the reader that it's a very popular service that a huge amount of people enjoy. Well, if it's in great demand, it means loads of people want it. So that's one, how it's going to persuade us to go. Okay, the report persuades people to visit by saying that under 10s ride for free. So why would that be persuasive? Well, it tells us, persuade the reader to visit the park as they will get value for money for the whole family. So if you get one of you, if you've got a family with three kids under 10, you're going to save a lot of money. So it might persuade you to go there rather than the park that they have to pay. Okay, the report persuades people to visit by saying that 35,000 riders from all over the UK and Europe are expected this year. Why is that persuasive? Well, this persuades us as it's such a huge number, such a huge number of people who want to go, then it must be great. Also, the fact people are travelling from Europe means the park is known nationally, internationally, sorry, as a great place to visit the bikers. So if people are coming all the way from overseas to go to this park, it must be great. Okay, and here are all those PEs I've just talked about in one go. Remember, you probably shouldn't number them. You should do point evidence explain. If you do have time, have a go at 10. Do as many as you can. But if you're sort of just struggling for time a little bit, five or six would be absolutely fine. Okay, and here's a student answer for that question. Okay, this question, um, I'm only showing you sort of three or four. Don't worry, this is not what she put. But the person put um, one word which persuades you to go to the park is beautiful countryside. This shows that the scenery is lovely to look at while riding your bike. Another phrase is splendid cafe. This shows that you can have a good break from riding to cool and relax. Also the phrase mild enough for small children persuades you to visit park. It shows that families are welcome to come and teach their children riding too. The last phrase is book well in advance to persuade. This shows that the park is very popular so you don't so if you don't go, you'll be missing out on a fun day. So this person has made four really good points and just basically explained what the quotes mean. So beautiful countryside means that it's lovely for people who are riding. Splendid cafe means that if you're not riding, you've got somewhere to go. Booking well in advance means that you need to, it's very, very popular, you have to book, otherwise you might miss out. Really good points, really simply explained. She got a mark for all of them.